credit card skimmer spotted by a customer at a gas station in Bells today. News 12's Talaya Munson takes a closer look at what he found. I knew exactly what it was the second I see. This Bells man, who asked to remain anonymous, tells me he's a regular at this gas station. I pulled up to it, got out, and I swiped my card. But he says something was off. I swiped it and I felt it with my hand. It just didn't feel normal. And whenever I looked at the screen, no, I've never seen this. It wasn't just the odd message on the screen. Does it looked that shiny new. I was like, I... I looked at the other one, it wasn't new, so that just, it killed everything. I was like, I'm getting out of here. Still needing gas, he tried a different pump with a more familiar card reader. I looked at it, I crouched down, and I, I got in close to this one. And I looked and I said, oh my God, that thing over there is not supposed to be there. So he trusted his suspicions. I just put my key in there, started prying, and it kind of moved, but it kind of didn't. So... My, my mind went backwards and thought, maybe this is normal. You know, maybe it's supposed to be here and this is just an upgraded thing. But I just kept crying like an idiot. And sure enough, that thing came right off. He turned in the skimmer to the cashier. It was made, designed to do exactly what it did. A full aluminum piece of metal to fit into that cubby, but not protrude far enough to catch somebody's attention. And while the skimmer may have been removed, according to the mayor of Bells, police are still investigating. It's just one of those freak deals. Mayor Joe Paul Smith says the store tells him they do checks on the pumps every day. But for extra caution, most people go inside and pay either with cash or with card, but they do it inside where the uh, card machine is more regularly noticed if a skimmer would be put on it. Smith says if you notice any fraudulent charges from any gas stations on your bank statements, contact your local police. In Bells, Talia Munson, News 12.